all the lights flickered and went out. Suddenly I was at a 45 degree angle, kind of falling over and the seats in front of me had come dislodged and were swinging around. Um, so it's very hard to find any sort of stability. I felt oddly silent after the actual crashing. Like there was a lot of metal and a lot of screeching and a lot of just being thrown around. Um, and it was very quiet and there was, you know, people screaming because their leg was messed up. And um, I don't think I ever actually really heard the sirens, but they were there and some guy was like, hey, I'm Robert, you know, we're gonna get you out of here. What I felt was just uh, a lot of like uh, shaking. The, my, my car just started shaking like really, really, really badly. And um, you know, those, yeah, like, um, Things, things for like was falling off the the shelf, and uh, you know you were you were in like you were you right away you knew that uh, this was not something uh, something minor. So the back of the car was uh, was wide open. Um, it was uh, it was like a steep steep jump, but uh, but we were able to uh, to make it and uh, and help uh, help the rest of the the people out of the out of the car. Train just started to seem like go off on its side, and then. Uh, and all of a sudden it went dark and stuff started flying around and uh, just brushed myself off and was glad I was okay. <laughs> Hard to think about the fact that, you know, I could have not been coming home at all. So, it's nice that I am.